Hello everybody, it's Chris Wood here. I'm just on for a couple minutes to say hello and to this live update and show the progress, what's been happening with my identity changes. I have no feeling in the right side of my head. I am getting pressure or air blowing in the, in the back of my head from what looks like that tube in the back of my head. I, I have lung damage, I have kidney damage, my skull's been split, my brain's been split, medical blacklisting, lies, time-buying cover-ups, arrest, refusals, false arrest, kidnapping, sex assault. Four years of going through this, of identity theft and changes, I spoke police crimes. As a result, my mother was stopped and murdered, my dogs were killed. I've been falsely arrested, medically blacklisted, lies, timeline cover-ups, and more, kidnapping, sex assault, blood and piss stealing, medical treatment refusals, and more. Well, I am going through this four years because I spoke of the human trafficking at a place called the Morning Star Mission in Napanee. I have no feeling left in the right side of my head. And the whole point of this is to cause me long-term memory and also problems and also for this identity that I am starting to conveniently look a lot like Jason Two-Step and Alstein, who is involved with this. It is being done to me what is by what is called remote narrow monitoring. The ones involved, Spencer Mills 14716. Ex-Chief of Commander before he left, 2019, Shannon Cork, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas, Stacy, a mental health worker, was Daily Tea Company in Napanee, and now Kingston, and Shelly Hackner, Hackner. Human trafficking, human sex trade, slavery, trafficking, injuring, torturing, lies about being suicidal, self-harmer, not true, lies of having, having long criminal record in history, not true. Lies of ha having long psychological record in history, not true. And being falsely arrested through a hospital and charged through a hospital for OPP to prevent me help after four years of damage is done and time has been bought. Okay. Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstein, Blair Hardy, Billy Woldridge, Dale Hartwick, Tony Hearns, Ray LeBlo, Robert Berry, Jimmy Perry, and Isaac, and others who are using the RM of me and have been for four years doing this to me because of me speaking of police crimes in hopes now of convenient mistaken identity and I am the end of my bloodline. So congratulations, Spencer Mills in the one's name. One way or another, I will prove this and I will I will see you in prison, and that's not a threat. Other than that, I hope everybody's having a good day and being safe. Remember the cops that I've named, whether transferred or not, obstructions, justice of the peace, laughing in my face over being sex assaulted, and accusing me of being high on marijuana. To prevent it, doctors laughing in my face over it. I'm not going to say where or who but it's happened. Thinking it's a big joke. Jason Van Alstein, who is doing this, he is approximately 40, 45 years old, for crackheads, for inmate sex offenders, for drug traffickers, drug lacing, out of the out of the hub here in Kingston. I'm 51 years old, Van Alstein is only about 40. Done and done. Congratulations, you pieces of shit, especially with me being the end of my bloodline, the male side. One way or another, I will prove this, and you will answer for it. Now that I'm living here in Kingston, time has been bought, damage has been done, and one way or another, I will get to a hospital because my skull's been split, and time's bought, just in time for me to end up getting screwed over even more. Any mistaken identity as me as anybody other than Chris Wood will be no mistaken identity because of the changes which have been going on with me, which I've been showing and proving.
and not being able to do anything about it while being accused of being delusional and hallucinating it. So public beware, this is how they're committing their crimes and getting away with it as well. Using hospitals and doctors to fuck over their victims. One way or another, I will come up with the $22,000 OPP and I will get Bill Walters, Blair Hardy, Tyler Lake, Jason Van Alstyne arrested one way or another. And all of this will be proven. So, I am Chris Wood, not Bill Walters, not Blair Hardy, not Tyler Lake, not Jason Van Alstyne. I'm not schizophrenic. I have no delusions or hallucinations. I don't have imaginary friends. I don't hear voices unless I'm physically talking to somebody. So, I don't do drugs. I don't drink anymore. So, yeah, congratulations. And one way or another because of this, OPP, you can now pay to have my dad exhumed in Deserano to prove my DNA. Because time is bought and damage is done, as you can see using a fucking crackhead piece of shit to do this to me who is an inbred goof. Congratulations. I'm Chris Wood. I'm gonna get out here. I just wanted to say hello to everybody and to remind everybody to be safe because there's nothing I can do about this. Time's bought and damage is done.